I am I said before I am not answering to no artist. I'm not do it. Why? Because it's gonna look like me a war with other artists. And I am not. I am not friends with no artist, brother. Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before me jump into the topics, my beginner to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now the topics coming up in this video. Ramesh warns Shensia to not respond to Lady Saw Spice or anyone else calling her name. Spice responds to Lady Saw recent caption about her, Shensia and Maka Diamond. And Spice also apologizes to Tanya Stevens. Being a man, woman laughs at him after spoiling their rice and peas while trying to cook. Coffee previews visuals for her new single called Pull Up. Scatter Burrell says Lady Lady Saw took all her great achievements for granted. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Spice responding to Lady Saw recent comments. You understand? And that is actually a post that Lady Saw made yesterday. Actually speaking on the whole situation that happened. You understand? She said a lot of things. But now I'm going to actually read it out. Zine, if you want to read it, it's on the screen. You can pause it and read it. You see my people? But in that post, she basically says you can bring a coat to the water, but you can't make him drink it and whatever. You see me? Which obviously she try to say she help out the female entertainers them for not from not making certain mistake but them don't want to take her advice so basically she gonna leave it alone but there's a part in it where she actually say a lot of persons are fine say yo if you're a christian you're not supposed to say something like that you see what i say people and that's the part where i actually gonna read to you guys you see my people and it's not even long so basically when she finish up the statement she say only can come kiss out my bible so you all can get deliverance you understand people so obviously when she say only can come kiss out my bible in a Jamaica, you don't know where a woman would tell the next woman to come kiss out. You see what I say, people? So, you know, a whole lot of people are saying, no, if you're a Christian, she shouldn't say nothing like that. So, of course, you know, say Spice, take it up on herself for actually respond to this. And Spice posted up a few photos, you can see them on the screen and thing. And in the caption, Spice said, Come kiss out my blue hair with the blue heart emoji, you see me? So Lady Saw say when you come kiss out my Bible and Spice respond and say come kiss out my blue hair. So obviously you know say a lot of persons are react to it, all the people are left comment, all the people are laugh and stuff like that. But that's not the only time where Spice actually react to it. ZJ Sparks did actually post a video over upon her Instagram page and Spice, Tanya Stevens and all of them did actually go over there and laugh and stuff. So I'm going to play the video and then I'm going to actually show you some of the comments them where um where spice them i say is it so yeah check this out listen to me you can all just come kiss out my bible so you can all get deliverance <laughs> So after um, Sparky Baby post that, Spice jump in the comment section and says, Sparky Baby, I hate you for this. You see what man say? Um, Tanya Stevens even comment and said, Dotty Janko. And even Popcorn Sister Unruly Squid put some laughing emojis and said, Hey, may I send for your phone? You see, it's a whole lot of people are laughing and thing. But really and truly still, all the people feel like say it was wrong for she even say, Come kiss out my Bible. You see me? Because they say, Might as well. She did just say, We did it on her mind and done and whatever, whatever. You see my people? But do you think, say, yo, as a Christian, you know, if you use them type of term there, you understand? Come kiss out my Bible and thing, leave it in the comment section. And since we're on this topic, Zine, we're going to talk about Spice apologizing to Tanya Stevens. Now, remember, say, Tanya Stevens and Lady Saw, them not on the same page and thing, you know, Zine, from longer time. And Tanya Stevens did actually come out and speak out against Lady Saw yesterday and talk about where Mama Saw did do and call Lady G name. All the political drama and them thing, you understand? So Spice was basically apologizing for counteracting Tanya Stevens' song. I think it's a pity. I don't remember which song, but um, Spice did basically counteract her song in the past. And obviously Spice has said, Mama Saw did set her up to do that and stuff like that. So that is why she's apologizing. Is it my people? So this is what she had to say. Tanya Stevens, please accept my humble apology. I know you have seen me in past times and have shown me nothing but love, but I think I owe you this public apology for being young, naive, and misled in my younger days. I'm sorry I counteracted your song and came at you for reasons that had nothing to do with me. I was wrong to not have judged you for myself and rather was listening to say voice thank you for being such a beautiful humble veteran and paving the way for us women i love and respect you for life you see people say that i go on and what i go on and basically tanya stevens said nothing to forgive spice go look up a song with me and the cribbit name broke up them that was done for lady g and me and andrew henton write and produce it because she beg us to she fooled me for a while too and g have nothing but love for me a life you see it and Spice respond and say, wow, it's really sad how far back in history her jealousy was. Anyway, big up yourself, mama, because even after you saw me, you never even show me any hate. 
always just love and motivation for your talent in a different category by itself you're a goat your writing skill is unmatched thank you legend you see it so basically you know spicy just want to apologize for what she do in the past and thing and obviously when you know say a mama saw them and say yo kind of get in them brain for make them put out certain songs and stuff like that you see it so i don't know people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so now we're gonna talk about ramish warning shensia not to respond to spice lady said the whole drama i'm tell her so she not forget involved in it you understand and shensia actually went live on instagram yesterday to reveal that information to the people you understand all the people did forward upon shensia live because them things that she did go come and cuss and rate and lele can remember you know people you know the whole start of this you know a fear song kind of start everything you know the whole lick song you know that kind of stir up a little controversy and then we see say, Lady Saw come out and say, Shensia, you need to clean up your lyrics and rate it. And Lady Saw did go on and call Spice name as well and Jada Kingdom and all of that. You understand? So when Shensia forward on, over 15,000 people did actually watch her. But she basically come on to say, Yo, Ramisha say, You know, I'm going to take away her phone and she knows to address certain things and stuff like that. So I'm going to play a little piece of the video and then I'm going to actually show her a comment that Ramish actually made while Shensia was on Instagram Live. Is it my people so yeah check out that clip here okay, strong Rick. thank you open your mouth one song make everybody open their mouths ah. <laughs> one second up make everybody open their mouths shouldn't say and nah, talk listen the aura which cost me off this morning and it, you hear me Ramesh has been cursing me off since morning. <laughs> Ramesh says, Shensia, I'm going to take your phone. I'm going to take your phone. Ramesh, I'm open up and say nothing. Stop yeah, man, people. So that's what Shensia has to say. And she also made it clear that she's not the type of person to come on the internet and go back and forth with nobody. She not depend on that. You see me? All the things she depend right now, I have to just make that money. But remember, I'm telling you, say, Rami should make a pose. Him. You can see it on the screen. And him say, if you talk, them flip it and make you seem bad. And if you don't talk, them do the same. So what the sense talk? Silence, mad them, so make them mad. You see, it's so obviously Ramisha tell Shensi, I say, look, do not say anything. And obviously you can't hear what she say, you know. Him did want to take her phone from her because maybe she was tempted for actually get on the internet and just speak her mind. You see, because that she did actually say to you, know. So when she attacks, she does talk how she feel, but she's not the type for those come on the internet and respond. And when the person come back and say something, she come back and this all back and forth is my people so that's what shensia have to say and of course as i say people all of this started from shensia's leaks and come out you don't know say so everybody start voice them opinion and stuff like that you understand people shensia even made that post over upon her twitter say look where one lick pum pum song start <laughs> You see me? Boy, basically it opened up a can of worms. You see it, people? But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about veteran artist Beanie Man. You see me, people? And basically Beanie and cook some rice and peas for him and him woman and thing and thing. You understand? And boy, oh boy, the boss had too much coconut milk in it and end up a overcook it. And one bag of thing I go on. So you don't know, say Camille there and she laugh and, you know, she still say it have a buzz still, you know, but <laughs> yo... I don't like being a man and blame it for a whole heap of things, but him not admit that he can't cook. You, know, you see me? Well, maybe he can cook still, people. You see it? I just a mistake he make or whatever it may be. You see it? But I played a clip here because I think it's kind of hilarious and the people they actually get a little laugh out of it and things. You see me, people? So, yeah, check out that clip here. Look for the rice Sorry. and peas. <laughs> <laughs> what is this cook? <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Hey, bro. I put too much cook on it. In the rice and peas. Best of the rice and peas there can eat it with your hand. You don't need chicken. That's the hand is good. Alright, move on your peas. Alright, so what's that? 
Se on kyllä paljon patsot tehnyt. Ei kyllä ole 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 tehnyt. Yeah man, so you can't say say being a man really feel a way still, you know, because maybe within himself, him know say, him just make couple mistakes and that cause it for whatever, whatever you see it, so. I saw a thing of still being here, see it, and the woman say it have a buzz. <laughs> Anyway, people, leave some comments and let me know what you think about this. So now we're going to talk about Reggae Superstar Cafe previewing the visuals for her new single called Pull Up. You see it? So I get into this article where I explain all of that. And as usual, you can leave some comments. You see it? So it say, Cafe previews exciting visuals for new single Pull Up. Grammy Award winning Reggae Singer Cafe has previewed visuals for the new single Pull Up that's set for release next Thursday, February the 3rd. It was just a day ago that she finally revealed the name of her debut album Gifted while discussing the 360 reality audio experience on her YouTube page. Like her other latest releases, Pull Up is expected to appear in the upcoming album with the set's first singles West Indies. In the brief teaser shared today, Coffee Like a True Daredevil is seen skillfully sitting on a car door and again on top of the trunk as it zips down on a highway seemingly at high speed. The IG fans are already bursting with anticipation while a few industry friends like Baker, Steve, Zach Jones and Yendi Phillips, Dottie Berry took to her comments to say they are ready for the video's unveiling. I'm so excited for this, said one fan. And Another added coffee with the vibes as always. Coffee, who is usually a pretty quiescent social media user, has been keeping fans up to date these past few days from showing off her rock hard hubs on the gram on Wednesday to yesterday's news of her album's name. The singer's new album, Gifted, is expected to be released via RCA Records this year. Fans can pre save next Thursday's release of her pull up on Spotify. You see it, people. So that I go on, pound what I go on. You, know? you see me. You don't know say coffee. I go come with something different. And just like them say night, is a girl who I go out of the box. You think out of the box. You know I go just say coffee. Sit down on the corner and I sing and thing. You see me. Expect some nice visuals and she do something out of the box. You understand, people? I guess she kind of tomboyish. You say. So you not gonna really expect these type of stones from certain people if you get what me I say. But anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is Ketabarel saying that the church now have nothing to offer to Lady Sa, you understand? And also that she took all their achievements which she get from out of dance hall for granted and stuff like that. And basically, you know, like after the whole situation go on and stuff. He basically made a post saying, Mama just realized church has nothing to offer and don't know how to return to the place that gave her permanence. Only sad that she took all her great achievements for granted. You see, so I guess Kata one of the person them who feel like she won't return but don't know how to return, you see me? And remember, you know, she said that now gonna happen, you know. And I, and I realize a whole heap of people actually say she want forward back in a dance hall, but she might not know how to come back in it and thing. Me not feel like that. What I feel like she want for though, is the songs with the artist them seeing like clean songs that a woman feel like she want for though. Cause remember she say, yo, she gonna do a song with Shensi, you know. Um but it's not going to be a gospel song or it's not going to be a Christian song or something like that. Zane, so obviously it will be a normal track. But of course, you know, say you're not going to get no curse words over tight and stuff. So I feel like she want to mix with the artist them in a sense for the songs with them. But it don't, it not going to be a song where you're going to hear a curse word and them type of thing. I don't feel that she want to come back in a dance hall officially. Is it? But I don't know people. What do you think about what Scatterbarilla say? Say you know the church not really have nothing for half hour and stuff like that, is it me? Remember Scatterbarilla one of them person when I really believe in a certain things, you know, you understand? So you have to just understand say I saw him feel about the whole thing. Is it my people? Me know all the time people say scatter this and scatter that, but I don't know people, you see me? I don't know how to say I agree with him. I feel like she's quite, you know, alright with she did and stuff like that. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about what Scatterbury is saying in the comment section. And that's it, you know, people. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn the bell on. Bless upon yourself and keep safe. I'm out. Even as me explaining myself against another artist, it's going to look like, say, me a war. I'm not worried with another artist, you know why? Because. 
me come a foreign and I see how much of them artists here I live together. Them have unity, them do things to make the music up on some different level. Why we can do that? I don't understand. So why me fear cause other artists? Even if other artists don't want to work with me, I don't sit down here because nobody is for what. What that I going to do for me? If somebody case me try put <coughs> dance help on a different level by myself. Everybody who everybody who do song with me do song with me. Everybody who wanna do song with me, do song with me. I want thing with me you now, I'm not trouble people, you know. I don't trouble people. As I must say, I like focus on my work. I like focus on my family and make money. Me? Yes, that's how I move. Very humble. Very humble. And just focus on what matters. Only if I should just... Everybody know that. Anybody who met me before can tell you that I'm a very nice person. Like, let anybody who meet me tell you that. Not people who don't meet me, you know, or see me on social media, you know, and thinks I'm a nice, you know. No. People who has actually met me. All man artists come out and talk. Say so one thing with Shin says she respectful. Me? Man, I do the back and forth thing, especially on social media. You never yet see me do that. Ever. I never. <laughs> me? Never. <laughs> do that. Me? Me? If you are going to hear me talk uh, in person, me ne you never yet see me come on social media, go back and forth with nobody. God is great. Today, we made history again. <laughs> hey, Rene, leave me alone now. <laughs> I'm leaving the live. I just wanted to tell you guys that I love y'all. When we spread in peace, and love right right yeah we got a lot more to do a lot more history to make right a lot more music to make a lot more money to make What time is it? 11 o'clock? I have to work one. Let's see if I can play with the Raj for one hour.
and i want to thank you guys for continuously streaming my song thank you keep at it